Tim, uh, never really in doubt, no? Yeah, no, not at all. Um, yeah, there was a few nervous moments there, no doubt, um, coming off Headingley. Um, we want to be in that position again, but I thought, uh, again, I thought we learnt from that. I thought we held our nerve, um, bowled really well against a team who fought really hard like we knew they would. It's a fair amount of uh, emotion out on the field <coughs> right at the end there. Um, what does this win and retaining the Ashes mean to this side? Uh, yeah, it's, it's exciting, no doubt. Um, you're going to see emotion when um, you, when you get a, a bunch of a group of people together that have got a common goal and have worked so hard for it for a long time. This has been two years in the planning, maybe more uh, for some people. Um, <clears throat> so to be able to carry it out um, over here under pressure with the crowds and everything that's been coming at us, it's it's a nice place to come and play cricket, but it's bloody difficult in England, if you're honest, and um, yeah, again, couldn't be more proud of the way our group have handled um, everything that's been thrown at them, and uh, yeah, I think that was, at the end, it's just a bit of raw emotion when, um, you know, you have a little bit of success, and uh, particularly on the back end of, of last week and then the last 18 months, um, we haven't had a lot of success, and we had a, haven't had a lot of really happy times, and we're starting to, to get them, which is um, awesome, and um, I think this group really deserves it. And considering the circumstances under which you've taken this job on, how much personal satisfaction is there for you having come to England as the captain of this team and you're taking back the Ashes? Um, yeah, again, not a lot. Um, my dream as a, as a cricketer was to come here and, and win an Ashes. Uh, it certainly wasn't to be a captain of a winning Ashes. Um, and it doesn't really mean any more to me or any less to me. Um, I've said a lot of times that my part in this team is is one of many jobs that people are doing. Um, I just get to, I suppose, get a lot of the credit at times, but it's certainly something that we share around our group, both players and staff. And, um, <clears throat> and yeah, I'm just bloody happy to be a part of it, mate. I could have been working at Kookaburra, so um, this isn't too bad. You mentioned about Headingley that it might have broken a lot of teams <coughs> going through that. Did the bigger journey the team's been on help the smaller one in terms of the last yeah, 10 days? I think potentially it did, yeah. Um, the group's uh, clearly been through a fair bit of adversity, um, some more than others, but I think a lot of the guys that are in that change room um, have been through what happened at Cape Town. And um, you know, again, it's times like that where you find out what sort of people you've got. Um, people can roll up and, and give up or they can keep fighting. And I think we've got a group of guys that that have come back and kept fighting and, and keep wanting to get better and keep wanting to be in situations like we were in Headingley um, because those games that you win make make why you play it really, really special. And um, I think certainly Headingley's loss makes today certainly a little bit sweeter after I think a lot of people um, wrote us off. Just about the minus, like bringing him on, master stroke or just like... Um, no, minus has been... Um, ever since I sort of captained him in, in Dubai, he's been working really hard on his leg spin bowling because we, he came on that trip and bowled a lot in the nets and we thought he can actually bowl. Um, and since that moment, he's, he's bowled a lot. Um, he came over here, he's played a bit of county cricket and bowled a lot of overs um, for Glamorgan, which has helped him. He's improving all the time. Um, <clears throat> yeah, and he's just one of those cricketers. Again, like if, if you tell a, a youngish part-time leg spinner to warm up at that stage of a test match, I don't think too many of them wanted to bowl. Manus wanted to bowl. He wants to bat in the games when the best bowlers are on and um, even in the field he wants to, to make a difference all the time. His energy is great. So he's a, um, a really exciting cricketer for us and someone we can sort of build a, um, our team around in the future. Is this the, um, the best you've seen Josh and, and Pat bowl and, and what have they done particularly well in this series? Um, I think they're always bowling well. They're extremely consistent. That's why they are good. Um, what I love about those two fast bowlers is that from day one in this series to this afternoon, the same effort's coming all the time and you can't ever fault them. Um, they run in hard, bowl as fast as they can every time they get the ball in their hand. Um, and for me, that's a real, a real weapon to have. Um, fast bowling's a very, very difficult thing to do, particularly when you go in with three fast bowlers. Um, and again, I think those guys showed not only a huge amount of skill, but a huge amount of toughness um, and a huge amount of fitness, to be honest. Um, 
<clears throat> to always just go in with the three quicks, which we do. And, and Nathan obviously bowls a lot for us, but uh, I'm not sure there's a heap of bowlers going around that would get through the workload that our guys are and maintain uh, pace and and skill like those two do. And Pat's obviously the best bowler in the world at the moment in the rankings, and rightly so. And um, Josh Hazelwood's last three test matches have been right up there with him. So we're really lucky to have those two at the moment. Tim, did you, did you ever wonder whether Steve Smith could <coughs> come back to the level he was before what happened? And what does it say about him that he has and probably surpassed it? Um, yeah, no, I didn't at all. I mean, anyone who's watched him bat in the last three or four years knows the, the talent and the skill and the hunger that that person's got. He's, people don't see how driven he is and how much he trains and how much he eats and sleeps batting. Um, he's just a genius. And I never had any doubt that he would come back and and be the player that he was. I think he's the scary thing is he's, he's getting better. Um, so I don't know where it's going to stop, but it's we're enjoying being along the ride for the ride with him. That's for sure.